uh, Shankarai Hospital, Bangalore. And I've been assigned the responsibility to throw light on recent advances in IOL technology. I'll be giving you a glimpse of that world in under four minutes of time. So as Sir Albert Einstein rightly put forth, it's all relative. And what do I mean by that? Because when in 1947, even back then, it was a recent development. Recent advances are relative to time and every single day we are evolving into a newer world. First generation, second generation, I hope all you have prepared for the class and know what these mean. And we have reached till the eighth generation. Hence in 1949, we have reached 2017 of light adjustable lenses. The materials have evolved from rigid to foldable. The optic design has changed, haptics have changed, and the IOL designs are basically becoming smaller, lighter, and better biocompatible. Let's not talk about the aspheric lenses, which negates the spherical abrasion, really not a reason at once. The enhanced monofocal IOLs provides us with additional benefits of intermediate vision, which enables us to do daily tasks because of a continuously increasing power profile. Trifocal IOLs take care of all three, intermediate distance and near vision. Since the amount of light entering the IOL is divided, it results in decreased contrast and depth of focus IOLs, which provides a single elongated focal point to enhance the range of vision with minimal dysphotopsia, but only a fair near vision. Accommodation is of really importance in elderly age group, as seen in the study by Ofcom. This shows that around 79% of the adult population uses, adult means more than 55 year population uses any kind of device. So that means accommodation is really important. So accommodative IOL provides us a continuous range of vision, either by bringing a change in optic position as in crystal lens or tetraflex, or a change in lens curvature as in fluid vision lens or new lens, or a change in refractive index as in light adjustable IOL or a fluid injectable IOL. Over the years, surface modifications have come up and we have tried to take care of all post-op complications. Light adjustable IOLs on exposure to a beam of light, polymerization of macromeres happen and thus a power adjustment of around two diopters can be uh, uh, can occur after post uh, after operation. India is really looking forward to getting them and I hope it, it reaches India soon. Fluid vision IOL, how cool is that? During accommodation, a fluid driven change is occurring in the shape of the IOL, which creates a continuously variable monofocal lens. Over the horizon are injectable IOLs, which solidifies after injection, and a variety of curing methods have been used to change the optics. Electric current IOLs have built in sensors to detect accommodation in, to send an electric current to alter the optics of the lens, but still in pipeline. And we have IOP detecting. IOL sensors, which can be implanted in the optics in the near future. A variety of drug loaded IOLs have also been tried out with time and have been successful. So to conclude, the newer IOLs are constantly evolving and the target and the ta uh, target is to uh, resemble the crystalline lens as much as possible. So uh, the, uh, the advancement in technology may lead to higher costs for the patients, and it mainly targets the dependent population to become spectacle free, reducing the elite cost of glasses and frequent hospital visits. Despite achievement of near perfect post op results, the search for the perfect IOL still continues. But this is not my conclusion. So I started with it's all relative. What might be new today might not be new tomorrow. So in, I hope in 2030, we may be having an IOL, which has an app-based zoom-in. Why not sit on a beach and let's see what's happening on the other side as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Annu. The panel can ask the questions now. <clears throat> Thanks, Dr. Annu. That was a very, uh, very interesting, very nice talk. Uh, I just have one question. You presented so many IOLs. Which, according to you, suppose all the IOLs are available today, which, yes, according sir. to you, is the best IOL? Sir, it uh, actually depends on the patient profile also, sir. So if one patient, for example, he is already wearing, he was also already used to wear a, a spectacle, he might not have a problem if we, if we are giving uh, an, uh, 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 if we are giving an IOL, which, uh, 
where he has to use a spectacle as well. So in those patients, maybe we can uh, prefer the extended monofocal lens and all. So, but if the patient requires the require, do not want, he wants to get rid of the spectacles. So he can go for the uh, trifocals and all and multifocals as well. So multifocals is another topic that, that will be covered in the session. So, so I didn't cover on that. So that what I wanted to know is when, when we are selecting an IOL, like I'm selecting yes. an IOL, Yes, uh, and now you're, you know, you're training resident doctors. Yes, what sir. will you ask them? What are the characteristics one should look for in a lens generally? I mean, just four pointers because you're, a, you're, a, you know, are you operating? You're doing surgeries? Just started only, sir. Started. So anyways, in, when it comes to lens and, you know, there are so many, you said uh, quadrifocal, EDOF, light yes, adjustable lens. Yes, sir. What is it? What is that one or two characteristics that you look for in the lens? I'm specifying more like material that will help you. Uh, sir, uh, mainly uh, it, uh, like uh, hydrophobic. That, is that what you're asking, sir? Hydrophobic, yeah, hydrophobic. Go ahead. It's okay. You can say whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, sir. So hydrophobic IOLs are, uh, are better because they give uh, better vision as well as uh, decreases the chance of uh, posterior capsular opacification. So hydrophobic will will be a very good uh, design and one more thing about the ridge of the IOL that is also equally important if it's a square ridge there is decreased chance for uh, the epithelial cells to migrate and cause a posterior capsular opacification so the square ridge would be preferred over a uh, yes. over the other and also sir uh, uh, if the optic and haptic is of the same uh, material oh, then again uh, uh, so again then uh, that will lead to more uh, chances for PCO formation sir all right. Great, great points. But whatever, I mean, just similar to what I was trying to bring about is when you're looking for a lens now or 2030 or maybe 2050 or even 10 years behind, you want a lens which is predictable. You know, yes, if you put an IOL yes, power of 20, it should be 20. It should be you 20. Want, yes. you, you want a lens that performs very well intraoperatively. So you can yes, put sir. it slowly. Slowly. You don't have to make larger Smaller lenses. incisions, so that will also be a good uh, thing. Correct. Like, so and it should be full. Hydrophobic also because they open up slowly. So you have time slowly. to place these lenses. Place okay. the lenses, yes, sir. And a lens that does not opacify and cause reaction post operative. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. you are on the same track. So good. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, see, like um, you, you mentioned about the uh, accommodative IOLs. Yes, sir. Uh, do, do we have uh, uh, any accommodative IOLs in the market and do uh, you have... Uh, uh, Sir, actually, uh, in India, we are not using accommodative IOLs as much as I've read about it. In India, it's still not uh, there, Sir. It used to be but, there, like uh, when Crystal Lens was there and uh, didn't. Uh, but it's uh, like uh, it's approved, but uh, it's not in India. That's what I. That's what my knowledge is, Sir. No, 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 no. It was. Uh, uh, it, it didn't really uh, work really well. So, uh, so why, uh, um, as a. Uh, 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 even uh, coming to the uh, have have you seen uh, intraocular lenses which have really opacified? Yes, sir. I have seen uh, PCOs. I have seen, sir. Uh, no, 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 no. What Doctor uh, Samraj was uh, asking about was uh, hmm. the IOL itself uh, uh, getting opacified. Uh, uh, no, sir. Uh, I haven't see. seen much. Yes, sir. Okay. No, sir. Okay. Okay. Fine. Dr. Akshay, any comments from you? No, I, uh, I have no questions. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anu.